this is the guitar lesson for My Headstones Become Ours. This is the first song from the single. And um, it starts off with piano going across it. And when the piano um, I think it does one set, then a guitar comes in. Which, I don't usually play this one, but um, it's just some power chords. So it goes... All <laughs> that over and over until the piano ends. So that is a power chord on the E string on the third fret. So you get your first finger on the um, third fret of the E string, your third finger on the fifth fret of the A string, and your fourth finger on the fifth fret of the D string. You let that one ring out, and then it slides down to the first fret, the same same pattern, but just slides slide it down two frets. Once that one rings out, then you bring it back to the third fret. And we play a C power chord, which you just drop down um, to the A string. So it's your first finger on the third fret of the A string, and your second finger, oh sorry, your third finger on the fifth fret of the D string. You just let that, ring, you just let that one ring out as well. So that is, just repeats that pattern over and over. And then another guitar comes in, which sounds like this. All right, so it's the same as those power chords. You're starting on the same notes, but uh, an octave higher. So we've got our first finger on the 15th fret of the E string. So yeah, first finger on the 15th fret of the E string, and then your ring finger plays the note on the 18th fret of the E string, and then middle finger on the uh, 17th fret of the E string. And then back to the 15th. Once you do that for three times, then um, instead of it going 18, 17, it goes 17, 18. Like that. Once you play that, then um, these two fingers stay in the same spot. <clears throat> You're still playing on the, on the 17th and 18th, but uh, instead of having your first finger on the 15th fret, it's on the 13th fret. So the same pattern, but your first finger's just moved down two frets, the rest stay the same. Then it goes back to the first one. Then it drops down. So you're playing on the same frets, the 15th, 17th and 18th, but you're um, on the A string this time. And instead of doing, um, so the pattern is slightly different, so it's... So yeah, 15th, 18th, 17th, 15th, 18th, 17th, 15th, 18th, 17th. And that last time you just let that note ring out, that note ring out on the seven, um, when you've got your finger on the 17th for the A string. So that just plays for the rest of the piano as well. So that plays out the whole time. Um, I think halfway through that other one, halfway through that one we just played, um, another guitar comes in and it's doing the same pattern but it's uh, harmonizing with it on the fifth. So you start. So you start on the 17th fret of the A string. It's the same pattern, so um, <clears throat> if you start on yeah, the 15th, the 17th of the A, 
and then uh, the 20th and 19th of the A. And then, then you start on the 15th of the A. But your fingers still stay, your other two fingers still stay in the same place, then back to the 17th. And then you drop down to the 17th on the uh, D string. And just let that ring out on that last one as well. So they play at the same time, they're harmonizing with each other. Um, <clears throat> and you've got the, the power chords going, and then after that plays, I think one's through or something like that, you then have a uh, lead guitar going over the top, which sounds like this. That's the first half of it. So you start off with your um, first finger on the 17th fret of the D string. Then 2019-20. Let that one ring out. Then your first finger goes to the 15th of the D string. Then, um, so 15, 20, 19, 15. 17, 20, 19, 20 again. And then it drops down to the G string, which is 17, 19, sorry, 17, 20, 19, 17. So together that sounds like. first half of it and the second half sounds like this. So it's the same frets that we're using and it's the same like we start on 17, then go down to the 15, 17th, and then drop down to the G on the 17th. But we're doing... So that is 17, 2019. 17, 2019. And um, it changes just slightly on the end. Instead of going back to the um, to the 17th on your last note, you go to the 20th on your last note. And then um, your first finger goes down to the 15th on the D string, and then uh, the other two are still the same, still 19, 20. And it does the same step going back to your first finger, it goes, it ends on the uh, 20th. Then back to the 17th. Then jump down to the G string on the uh, 17th. And on that one, on the ending, instead of going back to the 20th, you just give an extra hit on the 19th. And that is the intro. That's all the guitar parts of the intro. So, um... Yeah, when I'm playing it, I don't usually do the power chords. I just jump straight to the, um, to the, to the, uh, that one. The, this one. That one. <coughs> uh, I don't usually play the harmonized one either. I just play that main one. And sometimes if I want to, I'll just, uh, once the solo bit comes up, I'll just play that part as well. So that is the intro. And then we jump on to the, um, the verse, which is... Um, so that's the 
that's the it's like the two parts for the verse. So it's just uh, open palm muting on the um, E string. Then we hit the uh, the third fret on the E string. Let go back to open palm muting. Then we hit the uh, fifth fret on the E string. Back to the third. So that little thing's kind of like what we did in horse, where it's uh, your first finger on the uh, first fret of the E string, and then we just tap on the and pull off on the uh, third fret. So that's the first one. And then it goes back to the um, just to the start. So palm muting on the open E. Third, fifth, sixth. So yeah, instead of going, yeah, it goes third, fifth, and sixth, instead of going third, fifth, third. So yeah. Um, also, I don't know if I mentioned that, but when you hit these notes, you're not palm muting anymore, you're just, they're just going without palm muting. So once you get to the uh, end of that, instead of doing a, you just do a little walk down, so six, five, three. It's like that. So put the two together and you get... So that's the verse. Um, and yeah, there's no real uh, transition or anything between them. And then it just goes to the chorus with that transition as well. So it sounds like uh, the chorus sounds like this. Alright, so that is... It's all just power chords on the E string. So we've got like the open E power chord. So you strum it open, palm mute it a few times, and then the last time you just strum it open again. So then we slide down to a power chord on, like an F power chord on the first fret of the E, like this. And then instead of strumming an open, we do what we did in the um, in the verse, which is a just yeah, first finger on the first fret of the E string, and then tap on and pull off on the third fret. Back to that open. So you go back to the open E power chord. We go to the power chord on the third fret of the E string. Back to, the, back to the first. Then it's a power chord on the uh, third fret of the E, and then you slide it back to the third. And you hit the open E again. So together, it might be a little confusing. Together, it all sounds like this. So that is the verse and the chorus and the intro, they're all done. Um, they're the main parts of the song. So this time instead of the solo being played over the verse or whatever they usually do, it's being played over the chorus riff this time. Kill me. Which sounds like this. So that was just the first half of the solo. So yeah, 12, 14, 15, 14, 
12, 14, 15, 12. <laughs> jumps down to the um, to the A string. Just 12, 14, 15. And then we I use my first finger on the uh, 14th fret and then I do a little Tony and Omi tap on pull off kind of thing on the uh, 15th. Fret. Right, that's the first little part. So just what we've got here goes. Alright. Then we move down to um So that one's not too bad. That is on the uh 15th of the A. So 15th, 17th. 18th and then we just drop down to the G, D, sorry, D string and do the same um, 15th, 17th, 18th. Then after that we hit uh, the was it 20th, then 22nd. And then 24th. All together this first half goes like... Um, so this is the first half of the solo. Um, the next one's a little easy uh, kind of I guess. Alright, so for the second half of the solo we've got some tapping like we did in Hatred, which is, we've got our first finger on the 12th fret of the G string, and our second finger on the 14th fret of the G string. And then we use our tapping hand, again I just use my middle finger so I can still hold the pick correctly, and then I can just go back to strumming if I need to. So yeah, we use that on the 21st fret of the G string. <laughs> So it goes 21st, then 22nd, back 21st, so like this. Then we hit the 24th. So yeah, 24th and 22nd. 24th, 22nd. 21st. That last time round is just like single hits. So all together that sounds like this. And we just, just hold down on that 21st and just let it ring out. So that is the solo that plays over the chorus. And after the solo ends, we um, go into the bridge, which is the piano again from the start. So we're still playing the, when the guitar does come in, we, we just play the. We just play that start that we played in the intro. And also the harmonized version on the fifth, um, that comes in as well. But I just play that top, the top string one. Um, and then it just goes back into the chorus, which I think plays double the length that it normally does. And yeah, on the end of the song, just let so that that last uh, open E just ring out, as if you're gonna play the next, gonna play it again, but you just let that first chord ring out, and that is the whole song. So hopefully that helped, and I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, the next song that we're doing is Drifter of the Barren Waste. So I'll catch you in that one. Keep on rocking. <laughs>